Hey everybody, this is Marty with Sea on the Mountain beekeeping segment, and I'm going to add another hive. I took some resources from a hive, a couple hives, and I took some uh, plenty of uh, nectar, some pollen, some brood, and now I'm going to add a queen. It's a Carniola slash uh, Italian queen, uh, just to increase the herd a little bit, or the flock, or the, the hives. However you want to say it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I've, I've had these in here for two hours, three hours. Probably best to do it eight hours, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with a couple hours. They're already making their way out here. And uh, I've got my, my queen right here. I'm going to go ahead and let the bees out. We've got some bees around her. A little bit of honey in there for her. Um, these came from a boulder supplier one of my students wanted to buy a, one uh, a queen so i figured we would uh, go with her and uh, she picked this queen up for me so this is a, a mix between a um a carniola i've never had carniolas and an italian so i'll show you how i'm going to introduce her so i like to put them in a frame like so and I'll put her right here on the bottom. She has no uh, sugar plug. So I'll go ahead and do this. I uh, went through these frames inside this hive to make sure there were no uh, queens. So I hope that's the case. Got to really make sure when you introduce a new queen, there's no more queens. So that's how we do it there. So... We'll put her in here with all these new bees. I meant to bring uh, sugar water with uh, Honey Bee Healthy. I like to spray those on everybody, kind of make them smell good. But hopefully we'll see how they how this introduces in here. Came in a little cup with honey. Um, let's see here. Always a good... Uh, opportunity to pick up another queen another strain add to the beehives so we'll see how they accept her kind of put her up here see how they do I'll just put her right here for now and see if they come up and start what they start doing I'm gonna get you off the stand here so you can see what's going on so I have couple brood, a lot of food on both of these, and some pollen. Three frames in there. I'll fill this up. Actually, I'll pull that out now. And I'll fill that up with uh, sugar, sugar water for them. And this is just stock for next year. I'm just prepping bees for next year. I want to get this, this, little, this little bunch of bees strong. One of my nukes that I take into next year, get them through the winter. Hopefully increase them to about uh, 10 single uh, brood chamber. They seem to be liking her. I think they knew they didn't have a queen in here, so we'll let her fear on. We'll see what they're doing here. They, they really congregated around her well. So they're not stinging her. It looks like they're feeding her. You look through, yeah, they're trying to feed her. You can tell. So this is Sea on the Mountain Beekeeping. We'll let them go ahead and accept her. While they're doing that, I'm going to be pulling this feeder out. Yeah, they're liking her so far. That didn't take long. They've been without a queen for a couple, two, three hours. They usually say to really be safe, give them eight, but uh, you don't always have to do that. Uh, just kind of check them out. She's facing upward so they can feed her. I'm going to put her down in there so and see how they take to her. I'll give you a little report of all the other hives and see how they do down there. I'll just leave them there for a while. We'll come back and take a look and see how things are going. So let me give you a little rundown of what's going on with the beehives lately. This hive was uh, two queen cells taken out of the guile hive. 
and uh, one queen cell hatched, came out. She went for a mating flight, never came back. So I combined the two nukes together, and uh, this this little queen got mated, came back, and I'm still waiting to see some egg pattern from her. Uh, hopefully in a few days we'll see that. So hopefully this this has got a lot of resources in there. This is I might even get honey out of this yet this year, but it's getting kind of late. Usually probably throttle down after 1st of August. This the story here is this came out of uh, the Armstrong hive over there, and they have since hatched. There was three really good queen cells. I caught them and uh, put them on the top, took their mama from them, did a false swarm, and brought them over here. And there's only one queen that I found in there, so this hive will, will be busted out before long because this is a really prolific queen. So uh, this hive's up for, uh, for grabs uh, for anybody who likes to sponsor it, and that one too, and, and that one as well. I'm gonna put the lid on this so no other bees come by. Start bothering these bees. Yeah, they're 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 doing good down there with her. Put that on there for now. And uh, we'll let them acclimate and I'll show you when the tour is over. Joe Knutson, they're a little slowish. We're we're babying them along. We hope hope this hive comes along well. Appreciate uh, Joe Knutson's family and the sponsors there, and then the Amber Francois hive. Doing well, we got a honey super up here, and uh, that hive's doing really well. In, Jan, uh, in, in Jim Zackham hive, that one had a problem at the beginning. A lot of dead bees, about half the bees were dead. I scraped them out and uh, fixed it up, and now they're they're doing really well. Ga hive, I uh, oxalic acid too much on this hive. Well, I spilled a little honey over there. That's not good to do at times, to spill honey. Um, I can start robbing them. But uh, they've given me two donor hives, so I got an a, a ancestor or a, a descendant hive over there with that one. Um, Delmont Acres doing good. They're churning along. Probably have some honey coming out of there. In a, about a month or so. uh, this is the Col uh, Colorado Custom Concrete Hive. They're doing good. Uh, the Peyton Gefeller FFA Hive doing good. Guadalupe Bay's doing good. It's got a deep bond. Let's see how they just take a peek under there. Yeah, they're busting out. I'll have to see how they're doing. I may have to give them a, another deeper super. Blessed Eva High. They requeened, superseded requeened. Their queen died before the uh, uh, my treatment about a month and a half ago. Uh, I haven't seen any mites on these bees after that treatment. I did lose a queen over the deal, but I think I... Uh, kept the bees really strong. Trey Dinerger was really doing real good. They've slowed down a little bit, but they're working hard on giving me honey on the top here. Got a, a queen excluder on. The Armstrong, shining light since 1992. They, of course, gave us another hive. They have a, a virgin queen in there. She's probably going to get mated, if not today, next few days. Uh, but they're doing really well. The Wildflower Hive, look at that. I gave them another box. Um, they, they've got this full of honey up here. And then we're working on this box, um, the uh, Amy Jensen Wildflower Hive. Thank you, Amy. Your bees are doing great so much they have to hang out on the outside. They beard like that on the outside because they got to keep the temperature inside at a certain rate. And they're down there fanning. Let me see if I can show you. See, you'll see the wings are fanning down here to keep things cool. And... Uh, they're bearding over here, and they're bearding on the Xavier Hive. This is the Xavier Hive, one of the newer sponsors. We're working on the branding on Xavier. We'll start on the Colorado Custom Concrete. And I've got a, a laser, a wood laser engraver now. I need to set up, start working on, so I can get some really pretty cool things on there for the sponsors. We're also working on making candles this year. Here, here's the Art Vasquez Hive. It's full up. Put a queen excluder on, so this is all going to be honey. We got some brood in here, but these apame you can put regular equipment on with them. Pretty cool. So uh, Art Vasquez is doing great. The uh, sister sister Sylvia sponsors half of this hive. Sweet Caroline, the grand's hive. My grandkids got to put one more grandkid name on there. This hive is doing fantastic. I think I saw the queen yesterday. Let me see. Uh, no queen cells excluded. Pulled. Uh, I pulled some honey. Um, I usually put if I saw the queen, and uh, 
I think I did see the queen in here yesterday. Be the first time. I might call that the ghost queen. <laughs> I, I can't remember if I've seen her, but I know if yesterday I've seen her, yesterday was the first day. Um, but that queen, as you could tell, look what she's done. Look what her hive has done. So uh, really amazing. So uh, that's a quick one. Let's take a look now that we introduced this this uh, Carniola slash Italian queen. Let's see how everybody's doing. And then tomorrow, the next hour, release her so she can start laying. Yeah, they're they're happy down there. See, let me see. Let me pull them up so you can see them. Let me pull them up so you can see them. Yeah, they're accepting her. I'll let that happen. I'll let that occur for because they're so. I'll I'll release them tomorrow if they keep this up. So yeah, they're doing really well with her. So I think I'll put another in in here so they don't start. So they won't start uh, trying to make wax on the top lid here. They'll 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 start building wax quick if you let them. So I've got food in here and pollen, uh, two frames of food, some brood, and uh, we're doing well here. So I feel like pulling some of this out to show you. Let me see. One-handed beekeeping and put her there for a minute just for a minute I want to show you kind of give you a little bit of what's going on with the bees here so on this one we have food brood you want them little uh, you want the uh, the house bees or the nurse bees because they're not so acclimated to the queen and they take care of these uh, younger bees and that's what they're focused on they also accept the new queen better. And then all these young brood that comes out, this will be their queen. They won't know any different. So that's all going to hatch out here real soon. That's real mature brood there. We'll be hatching out really soon. And on the same side. So that's what we got going there. I really double checked these frames. Made sure there was not another queen on there when you take resources. But there's uh, plenty of resources in here for this queen to have quite the hive. Um, see if I can do this without, bee, without my bee tool. These gloves are really nice too, by the way. I found these at uh, Walmart in the gardening section. So that I took this because it has pollen in it. It's got nectar stores there. So that gave them their pollen. And this is all nectar and pollen. A little bit of brood on this frame. So this is a good frame uh, to take for a starter. So they've got three good frames of food and like I, I'd say two and a half frames of brood and there's a lot of eggs in here too so they'll they'll take care of these eggs and this queen has room to hat um, to lay too when she's ready when I get her out tomorrow tomorrow will be the day I think I'll take her out they're accepting her I could probably let her out today but just to be safe these all back in here they'll get her fear on by tomorrow all these bees will be happy. Whoops, be careful. Be careful with bees, it's hard with one hand. They glue this down so well. So she's got plenty of resources here. I'll put a feeder in here. Um, they won't have as many filters. Uh, the filters, if there's any on here, already flew back or are flying back. They're gonna accept her fine, it looks like. So yeah, good day in the bee yard. See, whenever you do something like this, to me it feels like Christmas time. <laughs> Uh, the beekeeper gets Christmas uh, quite a bit of the time. Pulling in the honeys, Christmas time. Pulling wax, Christmas time. Uh, starting a new hive, Christmas time. Uh, uh, catching a swarm, Christmas time. I haven't done one swarm this year. It's kind of unusual. So that's that's all she wrote. I'm going to clean this area up. So uh, anyway, this is Marty. See on the mountain beekeeping. Share, like, and subscribe. No matter... All the bad that's going on around here, around the world, just know this, there's more good than bad by far. There's no comparison. Through God, we win. He's perfectly good and he's perfectly in control. And he's in control in the bee yard. He's in control of the weather. There's green grass over there. Beautiful mountains, beautiful sky. Sun came up this morning and the sun will go down. He's faithful. He's faithful in the bees. So have a beautiful day. I'll see you on the mountain. Share, like, and subscribe.